In this video, we're going to look at what you need in your swim bag for any training session. I'm Andrew, and this is Life of Try. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to ensure that you never miss the latest content. So we are asked on the channel, what do I need within my specific training bags to get the most out of my sessions? So we thought we'd run a number of videos, starting with what's in my swim bag. So we've got our bag with me. So let's just dive straight in. So straight away, pair of jammers. Can't go wrong. Um, bog standard pair of jammers. You don't need anything fancy. Don't get me wrong, if you're outside and you um, need a wetsuit, by all means, um, have that, but that's not going to fit in this bag, so that's normally two bags. Um, the next thing up are goggles. Oh, there's plenty of them in this gym bag. There's three different sets. There's one very monkey looking pair, which I generally use for um, open water swimming. And then there's some favourites, Zog Predators, um, and then a Speedo set as well. Um, the other thing that I generally tend to have, it's not in my gym bag, but I generally got it on me, and that's my GPS watch. This particular watch will um, count laps as well within a pool, as well as having GPS function for outdoors. Um, the next set of coils is just a normal towel, and normally a small microfiber towel, just so it doesn't take up a lot of space. Um, and then go back from a goggles point of view, some anti-fog. You can't really go wrong with that. You need something like that in your bag. Um, do not forget, to look after your goggles, clean them regularly, um, but do it properly. Don't use anything too harsh. And then going into it from a training aid point of view, some of the things that you may want to consider. Um, we've got a swimming paddle. Well, there should be two. I, I can't find the other one at the moment. But there should be two paddles. Um, generally, these will allow you to work on that catch, um, strengthening your forearms, strengthening your shoulders and, and your, your lats and, and, and your chest as well. Um, these are invaluable. Um, you, they come in different sizes and they'll work different parts of your body. I'm not going to go into too much detail about it, but these are um, you know, an ex excellent piece of uh, kit and they don't take up a lot of space either. Um, I don't have them in my gym bag, but I've got them by the side. I don't generally tend to take pull boys or kickboards to the pool with me only because my local pool provides them anyway. So it, it's easier just not to take them and there's less space taken up. But again, these should be vital within your training. These are essential pieces of kit. If there's anything that you should be buying first, it should be these. Um, but like I said, if your pool provides them, you don't need them. So don't worry too much about that. Then we go into some more specialist um, pieces of kit. Um, and what I've got is a Snorkel is front facing, so um, you, you can keep your head down in the water and concentrate then on your movement rather than your breathing. So front facing, head down, you can concentrate on your kicking, you can concentrate on your stroke without having to turn to come out of the water. Um, another piece of kit that I've got are my fins flippers whatever you want to call them these are specific swimming ones that they're, they're not your um, deep sea diving ones these are specific for swimming training so again there's a fair weight on these but they're vital and they come in different lengths as well but they will help you um, strengthen your kick and then i think the only other piece of equipment that i've got in here is just a piece of rubber and i use that to tie my feet together um, stretchy so I can get my legs out of it um, straight away but when I want to work on um, sort of my my arms and my catch um, and also want to try and work on um, my buoyancy of also stop my legs falling down tie my legs up and think about then uh, my strokes going through the water and trying to keep my legs um, as level as possible the last thing I have in my swim bag and apologies I didn't show you I'm bringing this out is my program for that particular day or that particular session i generally tend to print out what i'm doing put them in a um, zip tie bag um, and, and then they keep dry and you can use them multiple times over and over again 
So there you have it guys, a quick simple video of what's in my gym bag and roughly what everything is used for. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, follow us on social media, um, get in touch, ask any questions you want. And if you want any particular videos in the future, let me know and I'll um, try and upload them. Thank you. Bye now.